Now folks, 80 trees, 22,000 lights, an incredible atmosphere inside. This pub alone spends 25,000 pounds on flowers every year. But look at that for an amazing spectacle. Hi everyone, Sinead with Free Tours by Foot. Look where I am, you guys. I'm in the stunning neoclassical courtyard of the largest 19th century building in the UK, the amazing Somerset House. What's happening tonight? We are walking the length and breadth of London. We are gonna show you every Christmas light this amazing city has to offer. Look behind me, this incredible 40 foot tree, but this is open for the winter season, you guys. We're gonna show you the amazing skate rink that's right here in central London. This video is based largely on free tours by Foots London Christmas Lights walking tour. And we will leave a link to this tour in the description below. There's a lot of ground to cover. Stay tuned, this is Christmas Lights in London. Now, as ever, it's a Friday night. I have my assistant with me, Maureen is back. Hi, Maureen. I know some of you were looking for her. So every year, you guys, this courtyard is either in the summertime, it's used for outdoor cinema theaters. This is also the building where they have London Fashion Week. And have a look at this amazing tree. One of many, many trees and lights we're gonna to see tonight. Uh, sponsored this year by Moet and Chandon uh, Champagne. So that's a nice treat. Let's go and have a look at the ice skaters. Just want to show you. Now, of course, you can learn to skate here. I myself have never like learned this. to skate, so I would actually be terrified to even attempt it. But have a look. Nothing says Christmas like an outdoor skating ring, does it, you guys? Now, there is a fee as you're coming in here. Now, that is where we're going to start, the incredible Somerset House and the ice skating rink. Oh, I like the idea of those little, uh... <laughs> what are they for assistance? I think I'd need them, Maureen. Yeah, let's do oh, right. We'll definitely come Last with them. It's like a Zimmer frame on the ice, isn't it? That's epic. Right, ladies and gents, that's Somerset House and that's the incredible tree area here. Next up, coming up. So just in a short hot skip and a jump, you are then in this wonderland, you guys, in Covent Garden. Now, this entire exhibit, and I'm gonna show you around in a moment, was designed by a lady called Sonia Klaus. She's a world, um, she's a award-winning film de set designer, actually. She's worked on Prometheus, she's worked on Gladiator, she worked on the X-Men, and this year, her job is to make it all festive here in Covent Garden. So this is the festive Christmas market and you have some beautiful stalls around here. Now, ladies and gents, I'm not gonna go into too much detail here because I have featured a Christmas market tour uh, in Covent Garden. So we'll put a link to that in the description. That will also be in our Christmas playlist. But look at these domed. These are in partnership with the Ramsey Single Estate gin single estate and you can hire these pods so this is the light displays in Covent Garden folks so it's a gorgeous Instagram shot let's just get you a little look at what it would look like inside there isn't that so pretty and surrounding all these festive domes are these Christmas trees so it's like a little forest little cutie inside now this is in celebration of the frozen spectacular and the new show look at the little one isn't she gorgeous she's all lit up the new show that is taking place in the royal jury lane theater and something very special at the moment happens on the hour every hour here 
Here it comes. It's snowing, you guys. How amazing. Now, here are the mistletoes and the baubles. Love these giant baubles. We're gonna make our way here and along to the same Christmas tree, or well, the same estate as the royal family get their Christmas tree. Look at this spectacular 55 foot Christmas tree, folks. Isn't she beautiful? So it's taken 16 people over 300 hours to decorate this tree. And they also used a cherry picker to decorate the very top of the tree. This is impressive. Look how beautiful. It's, just, it's these secret little places in London really make Christmas so special. Stunning little court out here, floral court. Right. So that's our honey light in Covent Garden. We're gonna move next onto the strand. a short little walk away and we are on the Strand. Now they call it North Bank. I've never actually called it North Bank but it is the bank side of the north of the river but this is the theatre district you guys and you'll see them all queuing here at the moment for the likes of Back to the Future. There's the musical Six. You have the Strand Palace Hotel. And as you'll see, these are the spectacular lights adorning the North Bank, or the Strand, which is going to lead us all the way in to the beautifully decorated Trafalgar Square. And now we're in Trafalgar Square, folks. Have a look at this stunning backdrop to the amazing National Gallery in Trafalgar Square, right here in the center of London. And look what we got, a Christmas market. Let's go have a look. Now, we haven't got the Christmas tree up just yet. The Christmas tree is always a gift from the Norwegians, a fabulous Norwegian spruce that they erect, I think in the next week or two, and you also have the menorah will uh, be put up the same time but here we have the trafalgar square christmas market again trafalgar square is a christmas market and what you'll see here are stalls selling everything from sweets to jewelry to alcohol to crafts and much more i'm going to publish a video that focuses on markets but as for christmas lights that's all there is to see now on to leicester square Let's go check out Leicester Square Christmas. How pretty are they? Bye. 
great. It could literally be in the middle of the day. Now, ladies and gents, it's Christmas in Leicester Square at the moment. Friday night, so obviously a little quieter. It can be during the week, but this is the uh, Friday night, the beginning of the weekend. So just gonna make our way out the main exit and show you what else is happening around here. Thank you for coming and Merry Christmas, it says. Ooh, look here. So we're into busker territory now. And that building over here, I'll be showing in a minute, is the W Hotel. I've had a lot of customers of mine have stayed there. It's a stunning place to stay and it's so central, right here in the Leicester Square. Right, let's give you a little panoramic as to what's happening around here. M&M's World, Buskers, but look at those lights. from the trees aren't they beautiful the Lego store will be all decked out very shortly boys and girls Santa will be making an appearance there as he does every year right that's gonna take us straight down into Piccadilly Circus Here we are, you guys, right in the center of Piccadilly Circus. Now, of course, we're going to talk all about the beautiful spirits of Regent Street. We're going to be heading up there very shortly. We're also going to be heading down Piccadilly, the street Piccadilly, straight ahead to the left. And here are the most impressive lights in London. Now, I often hear people referring to them as the angels, and I guess they do look quite angelic, folks, but they're supposed to be spirits soaring over the street. Um, it's technically, apparently, it's London's biggest, largest uh, light display, and it's under a grand sweeping canopy of light, as you can see, and it stretches all the way from Langham Place to Waterloo Place at the southern end of Regent Street, and where we are right now, St. James's but it's inspired by the very first light display that was on Regent Street in London. Now this is Regent Street St. James. We will be heading up the very posh region, Regent Street, uh, named after the Prince Regent, the son of King George III. You'll have heard me talking about him loads of times in my Westminster tour. But these designs were created by James Glancy Design Limited, in partnership actually with the Crown Estate because all the properties on Regent Street and particularly Regent Street St. James are owned and are part of the Crown Estate. So they're three-dimensional sculptures that were handcrafted in London using cutting edge techniques. 17 meter wingspan, isn't that impressive? It's incredible and 300,000 lights all over to dazzle us shoppers as we're heading along the beautiful Regent Street St. James. Now they're also here 
on German Street, which was the home of Sir Isaac Newton. And that street we head down on our rock and roll tour, you guys. But right now, we're gonna head back up towards Piccadilly, because I wanna make my way to one of the most beautiful shop fronts, the award-winning shop fronts of Fortnum and Mason. Oh my God, I'm absolutely blown away by how beautiful Fortnum is this year. That is my old, and it's still the advent calendar, you guys. Have a look, can you see it? All right, I'm gonna get a proper straight image here. So you can just see it here. Now you see all the numbers on the windows? Oh my days, just gonna get you the right. I mean, it is breathtaking, folks. There she is, all lit up in red. And if you see all the advent color numbers, see all the numbers there? That's your advent calendar. Right, I think we're gonna have to have a little look inside. And we're definitely gonna look at the beautiful window displays. Right, how can I not take you through the award-winning window displays of Fortnum? There's the brandy and the plum pudding. This one's beautiful, and I believe I read somewhere the idea behind it is to represent every image there is to represent the dreams of the animals represented and what their idea of paradise would be. Just one second, folks. We're going to move down here. Oh, always amazes me. Now you guys, here we go. Oh, watch the little mouse coming in and out. This is the cutest. Oh, bless you. Hello. We never, ever fail to impress. Here are the hedgehogs in their little candy wonderland. This amazing one here. Squirrels surrounded by the nuts that would be dream the dream for these oh this is lovely it's so it's to represent what their absolute paradise so their dream scenario would be and look at the main entrance right let's have a look at the little other ones here what we done here today little rabbit on a roller coaster with these little Easter eggs in and out. This are the owls. The wise owl. The library of books. Oh, who likes a few drinks? The badger is a champagne fan in his dreams. Maybe my spirit animal. And here we go. We're not done yet. Candy cane. Oh yeah, this is just the advertising then of the amazing products they have in store. And the hampers you can get in Fortnum and Mason. I mean, they really outdid themselves again. That samples of the hampers which are a hot item for Christmas in Fortnum. They're very famous for the Christmas hampers. Oh wow, I think something's caught Maureen's eye in this one. Little uh, liqueurs and chocolates, got a sweet look at the side entrance. How beautiful is this? I mean, they never, ever get it wrong, every year. Just a couple of more windows I want to show you. Here is the liquor window. 
We'll come back to that with somebody right in front of it. Oh, and there's Santa Claus himself with all his little gifts and treats for us. And there's the liqueurs and wines and coffees and spirits. They always do great samples, actually. There's a food court in there. Not a food court, my apologies, a food hall. And it's absolutely worth your time going down there. They have the most amazing fresh pasta, beautiful sauces. All the chefs in there are Michelin star chefs. And that is a stunning Fort Nima Mesa. Right, ladies and gents, I've just come out of the back of Piccadilly Circus, and here we go. Here they are, the spirits of Regent Street. Now, obviously busy on a Friday night. Shopping is on. Christmas shopping has started. This will be the more exclusive and designer stores. And we'll be heading up into the busiest shopping street in Europe. That's Oxford Street. We'll take a little detour along Carnaby, but look at the spirits. Now they're lit by spotlights underneath. And apparently, they're studied with LED P lights, which give it that beautiful twi twinkling effect, folks. These they are. The shopping centers are all beautifully decked out. Now we chose to come at a time when the shops will be closing, but it's a busy Friday night as you can see. Christmas well and truly has landed in London. Now I'm going to take you up very shortly to see Hamley's, which has the amazing title of the oldest toy store in Europe. Look at her. Or him. And a model, a novel way of transport around London right now. It's quite popular. A lot of loud music in there. Are these bicycle powered rickshaws, as it were? Can be quite expensive though, folks. I think they charge something like a pound a minute. But when you're in your holidays, which you will be coming to see us very shortly, it's all part of the experience, isn't it? Now we're going to head in to Soho, just off of Regent Street, coming up here in the famous Bag and Nails pub, which is featured on our rock and roll tour. Where Paul McCartney met Linda, Jimi Hendrix had his, and the experience at their first gig, now a beautiful private uh, club. And Soho is alive, ladies and gents, as you can see. But let me take you to here. It's going to be beautiful in here. This is the gorgeous Kingly Court. Busy not fully decorated it doesn't look like right yet straight out on to the world famous Carnaby Street now look how pretty now this exhibit here on Carnaby, the Christmas decorations are in conjunction 
with a wonderful charity called Choose Love and they are raising money and awareness for refugees. So it's a beautiful humanitarian cause and that's what Christmas is all about, isn't it, ladies and gents? Obviously, one of the more high-end, not high-end, but a very popular shopping street. People like Office and Swatch and Ray-Ban and Benefit. So they're naming it this year, the Killarney, the <laughs> Killarney, forgive me, Carnaby Kaleidoscope. And this is the lovely Ganton Street. Look how colourful as well. But to be fair, Carnaby is always very colourful. This was the home of rock and roll in London. The Sex Pistols, Punk, The Mods. The very cool fashionistas all hung out here. You get a lot of pictures online of Twiggy standing on Carnaby Street. And that is the wonderful Carnaby Christmas decorations this year. One of the side streets of Carnaby, folks. Look how beautiful. Obviously a very popular destination for outdoor eating. I'm really impressed by these stunning butterflies. Probably one of my favorites so far. Now let me know what your favorite exhibits are, or Christmas decorations are, when we complete the entire video. There we have. Carnaby alive and well and kicking. So we're gonna fast forward now right away and we're gonna head out on to the busiest shopping street in London. Let's go see what's happening in Oxford Street, folks. And it just gets prettier and prettier, you guys. Look at Oxford Street is illuminated by one million of these incredible twinkling stars. And we're gonna take a little walk up here to show you some of the stunning buildings. Now look at these beautiful stars twinkling down on top of us. Sometimes we forget how truly lucky we are to live in this incredible city. Look at the trees as well, folks. The attention to detail. Oh, now look at John Lewis. They always make such a special effort as well. How pretty. I'm just going to cross over here. I feel like there's a a light display happens here. Ah, oh, there it is. Look at that, ladies and gents. John Lewis strikes again in the backdrop of the beautiful twinkling stars of Oxford Street. Just taking a left off of Oxford Street, folks, and I'm now heading down New Bond Street. And this is the one I'm really interested in. This is the peacocks and the peacock feathers and what looks like peacocks the whole way down the road. There's a very interesting bit of history about these. 
Why is there a reference to peacocks on this street? Well, it's in reference to this gang of very fashionable gentlemen who are known as the Bond Street loungers. And they were so well dressed and they would parade down here and they were known as peacocks because of their amazing fashion attire and the way they would strut down the street like they owned it. So the peacocks are in reference to a group of very, very well dressed dapper gentlemen. And here we're heading into another wonderland, you guys. So just left off Bond Street. Let me take you through South Malta. Look at this. Now, if that doesn't give you all the Christmas feels, I don't know how else to help. Merry Christmas, everyone. And the crowds are out in force. Coming through these beautiful star arches lit up by so many incredible lights. I mean, it's not <laughs> difficult to feel like you're in some sort of a Disney world or Disneyland. I feel like a princess. You feel like a princess right now. Maybe a rock one. Hope you're enjoying this little walk with me. I love taking everybody with me. Pamela, Sue, Declan, John, Jim, Mary. Oh my God, there's so many to thank. I cannot thank you enough for all your incredible donations. Maria, you're there as well. Each and every one of you and all your amazing comments and your beautiful compliments on the tours. Really, really, really it really does make our job worthwhile. And I am happy to continue as long as you want us to, folks. But your support means the world. It just spurs me on to do much, much, much more. And to show you all the parts of London I absolutely adore. Look at this gorgeous Instagram. Oh yeah, the minute I... Here again, in fitting with the beautiful blue theme of South Moulton Street. Ladies and gents, look at this. We're heading to Selvages. Oh my God, it's stunning here at the moment. Look what it's saying there in the corner. Let's change the way we shop. Now you guys, look at this. Selvages, you have outdone yourselves again. Right, this is, um, some window displays we have got to see. Okay, let's do it. Oh, it's 80s themed, it looks like. My type of era. The Christmas of dreams. A 
let's have a look at the shop fronts here folks so this is Montclair at the Selvages corner shop the 1st of November to the 4th of December that's the first one thank you Christmas of dreams now let's have a look at this a starlight spectacle like no other okay santa's having a rocking time here christmas of dreams it says I have no idea what this is, but I like it. I like it a lot. It's very 80s. That suits me. Ah, oh, it's beautiful makeup. You look fabulous, sister. What have we got here? Immediately when I see boys in sailor suits, I think of Jean-Paul Gaultier. It's usually his vibe, isn't it, in his commercials, where he's amazing perfume reeling in amazement let's head for the next one we have raising a glass to dazzling good times oh they're beautiful so it's like little drinks perched on tables in beautiful glasses Here we have next what have we got coming up out of the world surprises some rhinestone clad cowboy with a lasso and a whip and he is hooking a star it's pretty special can i just say the next window is just for you is it for me oh wow oh i'm getting a round of applause <laughs> oh bless you moors isn't that terrific <laughs> A round of applause, this is great. Let's have a look. Everybody's clapping. Oh, that's epic. <laughs> rounds and rounds and rounds of applause, it says underneath. That's lovely. What have we got? Are they Birkins? Oh, no, they're Gucci. Hello, lovers. As Sarah Jessica Parker said in Sex and the City about her Manola Blonix forward march to the next one. Oh wow a christmas fueled by imagination i like them shoes they're very cool can you believe that people can be this is oh wow what are we looking at here? Oh my days. An electrifying extravaganza. Is it wrong that I absolutely adore those outfits? Every single one of them, including the hair. Amazing. An electrifying extravaganza, bringing delights to new heights. What kind of decadent treats have we here? Looks like perfumes, gifts for everyone. Yeah, style in full plume. Oh my god, I am absolutely loving their windows. These are my it's a tough toss up between Fortnum and Mason and. Salvages, what do you reckon, ladies and gents? Which one do you think? Don't answer just yet because we have a lot more to see. Otherworldly treasures. Oh, wow. Like a huge pendant. I wonder who's that on it. Could look like a young Victoria, but it's pearls and jewels, of course. Now, all tips are greatly received from Cartier and Gucci. Balenciaga, ladies and gents. 
I am joking. I am joking, ladies and gents. I have plenty of endless thanks for everything that you've all done for me. Endless gifts for everyone on your list. Now, one last window. Of salvages. We might as well have done them all now, so might as well see the rest. The extraordinarily coming to life oh so i see it's kind of like a culmination of all the video videos of the windows together rather and with a hop skip and a jump ladies and gents i have moved from the west end to west london and we're going to have a little trip around the stunning lights of duke of york square now look at this stunning tree up here. So each neighborhood in London brings you a fascinating display of incredible Christmas lights, but these are always my favorite in London. Look at these stunning glitter balls, if, as it were, hanging from the trees. So this lovely square area, a stunning restaurant on the inside, Vardo restaurant. Let me take you right up here. So we're going to take a little trip. I wanted to show you this decoration, which is based on the crown of King Charles II, which is absolutely gleaming in the light. This area is Sloan Square area, ladies and gents. I've just come out of um, Sloan Square Tube Station. So just to show you some of the look at the tree, I mean it's just understated elegance. Everything about this neighborhood usually is. These gorgeous decorations. So the quick trip down here, another Sachi Gallery, the exclusive gallery here in London. Always makes a very special effort. Oh my days, how beautiful under here. That will take us right out here to my favorite display of them all. Now, again, I am going to ask you to put in the comments any of your favorite displays, but for me, it's always Sloan Square here. I mean, how stunningly visual in the square area itself. Just by the tube station, folks, which is Sloan Square tube station. A lot of people tend to miss this area. I love this one particularly. Obviously a very exclusive area, surrounded by Massimo Dutto, Victoria Beckham shops are in this area, Stella McCartney. You also have Tiffany & Co across the road, Club Monaco. Beautiful part of town, Hugo Boss across the road, Ralph Lauren. But this is what we're here for. How breathtakingly beautiful. Following on from the amazing Sloan Square in Duke of York Place, Duke York Square. No Christmas lights journey would be complete, ladies and gents, without a trip to the world famous Harrods. 
Now look at it sparkling in the nightlight. Now let's have a little look at some of their window displays. I have future tours planned around Harrods. I don't want to give away the surprise, but all your shopping needs will be catered for in London through free tours by foot and Sinead. I can't wait to get inside the building. So look how pretty it looks, lighting up the night sky. Some electricity bill, but somehow I believe the Qatari royal family don't need to worry too much about that, ladies and gents. But here is the spectacular Harrods. Now, don't forget to like and subscribe, folks. Our Christmas playlist will be coming up at the end of this video. I'm not finished yet, though, because I just want to show you one other very special place. And this is a bit of a treat for me, actually. But look. They always pull it out of the bag, ladies and gents. Witness and spectacle, a time to feast and celebrate the theme of that window. Oh, Estee Lauder, we love a bit of Estee Lauder in our house. My mom loves their perfume. And here we go, Carolina Herrera. Naturally, would be exclusive gifts for Christmas. Now somebody did tell me actually that the last hour on Christmas Eve is the most lucrative shopping hour in Harrods throughout the entire Christmas season and that is you boys no doubt leaving everything to the last minute but diamonds Rolexes no expense spared panic buying as such for the last hour on Christmas Eve. And I saw that on a documentary on shopping in Harrods. And of course, they prepare immediately, they get Christmas Day off, but then they're back in immediately to prepare for the massive crowds for the sales, which start on Boxing Day. That's known as Boxing Day in this country in Ireland, St. Stephen's Day. These green windows are spectacular. So we won't go through the every window display, but Celine. Oh, here we go. The bags, the bags are on display. Oh my days, but stay tuned. One last major surprise coming up. And with that, ladies and gents, a short little hop, skip and a jump to Notting Hill Gate Station. I am at the Churchill Arms on Kensington Church Street, the most festive pub in London. I challenge you, ladies and gents, to find something decorated as good as the Kensington, the Churchill Arms. Now, folks, 80 trees, 22,000 lights, an incredible atmosphere inside. This pub alone spends £25,000 on flowers every year. But look at that for an amazing spectacle. Ladies and gents, thank you most sincerely for joining me. You have got to check out this place. I really hope you enjoyed our tour of London and the Christmas lights. As always, thank you for your continued support. It's been my absolute pleasure showing you around. Stay tuned. We're going directly into our Christmas playlist. Happy Christmas, guys. Heading in to the Church Alarm. Sinead signing out at Notting Hill Gates.